Welcome back. This is the Touchline on 254, and of course, our second segment of the interviews. I have the first batch. You'll be having it in twos. But the first one, of course, course the, the team members from the National Kabaddi team, from their participation at the Bangabandu Cup. And I'm pleased to have Samuel Wanjala, right, on my immediate right, then Helsinki mm -hmm. Simiu at the center, and Roger Somondi, far right. Kariboni San on the set, guys. Okay, and cool. uh, well done, despite the fact that <laughs> the ultimate goal was to bring this cup home. It's been elusive for so for four years now, but That's it looks right. like we have to wait a little longer. That was my headline in one of the stories <laughs> I was doing. But yeah. great job. How was the championship, Samuel? Uh, the championship was good. Uh, we went in with our tie cup, uh -huh. uh, despite the semi-final last uh -huh. losing. Uh -huh. But we felt like this is the championship that we have played our all uh -huh. uh, we gave our best but just unfortunately uh -huh. lost. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, Helvik, yeah how, how did the championship pan out for you yeah it was a wonderful experience uh -huh. uh, considering the fact that uh, Banga Badu is uh -huh. the only international biggest international tournament that uh, currently we are participating in uh -huh. so having uh, finished at number five last season uh -huh. so going this season we were aiming at gold because we had prepared well uh, we had polished our, era, our errors, mm -hmm. so it's just unfortunate, but uh, we believe we are a strong team. Mm -hmm. uh, even in the side of the fans, they were saying Kenya is the best team of the tournament. Uh -huh. It was just hard luck that we finished at the semis. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, uh, Roger, my Shindano a victory for you. What was your experience? Uh, experience is a fit. Uh -huh. uh, though sometimes we, are, we have to accept uh -huh. uh, my talk of uh -huh. uh, but uh, two quarters na jitarisha ku lose mm -hmm. yes to uh, there to win mm -hmm. unfortunately i took manage uh -huh. uh, next time yes for real uh -huh. uh, Samuel again as a nepal what was the main and doing for the team wow against nepal mm -hmm. i think ile game to me yeah sisi watu tikijua this is mm -hmm. an easy win for us i mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. so to bring here Tulingia na saiki kwa juu sana, ukiangalia the first minutes of the game we played so well. But coming back in the second half of the game, that is when things went so that it would be. So I think we missed some technical guidance a little bit that made us, I think, get into pressure and led us to losing the game. But I think next time we will, we will work better we uh, like to learn as the mistakes to look at my some of the mistakes even uh, some other players didn't understand so i think it's high time you lose it when you're gonna something mm -hmm. out of us that we don't know so i think you need to say the appear to prepare for the future mm -hmm. big cup that is coming so uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we could a very good run for yeah. group stage right maximum yeah. points yeah uh, how how did this inspire the team uh, moving forward? Yeah, so first upon arriving in Bangladesh, uh -huh. we had 12 teams. Uh -huh. So, and uh, normally Bangladesh normally fear Kenya because we are the, uh, the African powerhouse. Uh -huh. So, at the beginning, we were in a tough pool, uh -huh. which uh, ourselves, it's only the confidence that we had and the winning spirit for gold that made us go through. Uh -huh. We managed to win the five matches, uh -huh. beating teams like Thailand, uh -huh. Japan, which in history we've never beaten them before. Uh -huh. So it was a major win for us. So going toward the Nepal game, we had a very good strategy, but uh, sometimes things go south, not as planned. Mm -hmm. So it was just misfortune, but uh, the team was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe uh, Roger Slabda Kushinda, um, Thailand, like when he highlight a tournament? Yes. Talent, to kengele game zetu za awali, talent wana to go wanga. Kengele last time, wali to fanyele mambo. So, vinyo tulikuja, tulikuja kwa, tumejitarisha, tume strategize game, na tuka win, tuka pigia Thailand. Vizuri, so, oh, pia wali shanga. What do you think that Bangladesh may be summer doing for them to be crown champions for the fourth consecutive year? Aundo wenye game lakini it doesn't warrant them to. Ii nda kuwa honest na ya. Tukia nanga Bangladesh kuna, ok let me tell you, Bangladesh wana kuanga na that wataki kumiss in the finals. So they do everything possible ndo wafike finals. Like look, tumenda Bangladesh, just compare the two poles between 
Bangladesh pool and the Kenya pool. Kenya still a group of dead. Akuna mnyonge. Kila mtu ni stima. So in Sri Lanka, Japan, Thailand. The only maybe when you tunge gonga na na wapa bro ni yao yuzi. Au ingi ne wote if atunge na na ile mentality guaranteed tunge lose all the four matches to win more than. Come back to group ya nini ya Bangladesh. Bangladesh wale nza kabadi dini. They are super powers bado wakabadi. Unaona? But ukiangalia pool yao wamecheza na Poland, wamecheza na Malaysia. Small small like it was just a walk in the park. For them in the group. Yeah, the first half wamepiga Malaysia 50. Second half wachezi wanapatia Malaysia 14. They are not getting points. Yet kwa group yetu umepiga Japan na 20 yes. first half yes. second half <laughs> last 10 minutes <laughs> kana difference ya 2 points yes unaona how competitive it was so <laughs> bangladesh yes they are good side wanajua kucheza and whatever but <laughs> ukikamu sasa kwa ile strategy ya pulling and whatever <laughs> every year this happens <laughs> wana try ku get a fa fa favorable favor. favorable yeah. pull yeah. so that we can pick up all you vitu zina kwa easy wanajua uh -huh. wazi patana na kenya uh -huh. yeah. but also it was very close um group matches uh -huh. for for team kenya so like yeah, against sure. thailand only one point yeah, sure. yes helvig yeah sure uh -huh. so first uh, i'll congratulate bangladesh uh -huh. either way you can't uh, erase it take it from them yeah, you can't take it <laughs> from them they want that they want the the tournament for the fourth time uh -huh. but uh, always since the first time to the fourth time uh -huh. kenyans have been the first favorite uh -huh. through the tournament uh -huh. uh, our resilience our athleticism uh -huh. our physique uh -huh. all the fans love kenya uh -huh. so uh heading to the matches we had the good strategies uh -huh. which is the one that helped us uh -huh. especially in the game against thailand uh -huh. because you know most of the raiders were reading towards the right uh -huh. so we had to defend our left uh -huh. our left side uh -huh. of defense uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, going forward, mm -hmm. I think with proper structures, because uh, to be honest, uh, Kenyan Kabaddi players play Kabaddi out of passion, and uh, they are willing to sacrifice everything they got mm -hmm. to just represent the nation. Mm -hmm. But countries like Bangladesh, you find like uh, most of the players, maybe they are uh, police officers, mm -hmm. like at least you have the time to concentrate from the sports. Mm -hmm. Uh, but here in Kenya, you have to go to training after training, try to look for some hustle and all. So I think if Kenya, we just put all our concentration towards the preparation of matches, mm -hmm. taking care of players, mm -hmm. uh, proper structures from uh, the age groups towards mm -hmm. the senior team, mm -hmm. I think Kenya can be the best Kabaddi team in the world. If you go through our comment section on Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, many fans were saying Kenya is the only team which can beat, but why can't we beat them now? It's because uh, we don't have the proper structures, which I believe things take time. Mm -hmm. With time, I hope we'll be there soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and maybe Rogers Kwako Kushinda Uganda 55-16, uh, it will quite result. Was it pride? Like, did you feel more, more, more inspired to be the neighbors? Mm -hmm. uh, Kushinda Uganda, ilikuwa we have to do that mm -hmm. uh, though ni, ni kama mashemeji mm -hmm. wako tu jirani hapa next so mm -hmm. haikuwa that <coughs> but uh, win is a win mm -hmm. uh, atuwezi sema ati atuwezi shangilia ama atuwezi furahia tukishinda mm -hmm. yes we have to win mm -hmm. hata pia wao wakipata hiyo nafasi wata win uh -huh. yes so ilikuwa win kama hizo zingine how long how long should we wait for uh, uh, Banga Bandu title. Next Kenya. year. Next uh -huh. year. Uh -huh. Yes. You are sure on Sam in a Tokapi? Here he is ready. He compared to me at this time. No one got lived to Mateza and the errors near to Mekwa now. They are very minimum, mm -hmm. of which Zili could at a critical stage to expect. Mm -hmm. But going forward, it was very prepared. Now, you see, as players to share on the air strategies. Mm -hmm. Banga Badu, ni kama how many months from now? I think only eight months, right? Yes. So, in these eight months, to have enough time to prepare. Mm -hmm. And going forward by next year, to have to correct all mistakes. And mm -hmm. That one, I guarantee you. I mm -hmm. Yes. And maybe your experience, you play pro Kabaddi in um, India, UPO, that's right. That's the name of the franchise team. Mm -hmm. How crucial was your experience at the top level uh, to the Kenyan team uh, last week or at the Bangabandu Cup? Uh, yeah, playing up top 
in the top level mm -hmm. in the Fedia Sana. Mm -hmm. uh, having few players in our team, mm -hmm. it brought some kind of experience to me when I was in the This time to land another junior players. Mm -hmm. yeah, make your Derby Badum, mm -hmm. yeah, national team. So, to mm -hmm. see our responsibility mm -hmm. being a player in the top level, to mm -hmm. try to bring to your reality that you are playing this stage mm -hmm. and you need to be in this way uh -huh. and this manner. So playing peer Jui said yeah kwa the experience kwa team kwa that is I mean Ian Din is the most factor nye me fanya to na nawa lewa se sana. Ju see si wate tunge kwa kutini, tunge kwa tuna zile ideas what to do at this time and this and this time. But kuchiza ju met said at least kuna strategic moves to na jua to do this at this time. So yeah. Right. And Pelvic you mm -hmm. also your yeah. his teammate. Yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We we play at UP with us. Mm -hmm. So going there is every every Kenyan uh, kabaddi player. Mm -hmm. It's his dream to play in the pro kabaddi league since it's the topmost league. Mm -hmm. Since there you can uh, you can find the players whom you've you've been looking on YouTube mm -hmm. with the best of the best. So we were able to learn uh, several skills mm -hmm. how to go tactically towards different different types of uh, opponents. Mm -hmm. So. It was a very good blend, mm -hmm. given the experience plus the amateur players. Mm -hmm. It was a very good blend, which helped us manage the five wins in a row. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you going back to UP others? So yeah. currently very we are actually. on full off season. Uh -huh. yeah. So the next season will start uh, probably from September. Uh -huh. So there will be an auction uh -huh. yeah. where uh, new players can be injected uh -huh. like f uh, the way we've been from the Banga Badu Cup. Yes. There are some players who have impressed. Yes. So you might find new players going to the other teams uh -huh. or maybe your team retaining you. Uh -huh. So it's uh it's uh giving your best and praying to God that uh perhaps maybe, maybe your team or another team can uh -huh. support you so that oh. you can go back to and play to the league. Yes indeed. Yeah. Uh, for Rogers uh the season, Bado Hijanza, see you, the local mm -hmm. season, yeah. you turn out for Kid Rai Cheetahs, right? Yes. But what's the, what now? What, what, what lies ahead as we wind up? Uh, <coughs> according to Vinye, to me, what you prepare for the next uh, tournament, mm -hmm. uh, Kid Rai, as Kid Rai captain, mm -hmm. to me, I'm a round day to Nende Yoki Kombe. Mm -hmm. Last time we are almost. It was almost mm -hmm. <laughs> this round. <laughs> this round. Uh, this round. I feel. Come uh, on, to Bangabadu next year. We feel it. That the same way. You and your to to your your chance. Your chance to connect us with the right. So in next uh, in season next, we are taking it back home. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. All the best to Rogers, Helvik and Samuel for yeah. racing Touchline and Thank we wish you. all the best in your future uh, assignments as well as responsibilities for the, for the country, right? Thank, Thank you. Sir. Yes, and we'll be back with another set of uh, the Kabaddi players and I'll be having Modest Park as well as Tobias and Kamweti right up next. Keep watching the Y254, the Touchline.